I don't know how many of you may have seen the story uh, that was running in the um, what they would call the sub headlines about this tragic accident that happened in Florida and uh, very quickly the story is that um, there were three people uh, in a car uh, one young woman, I believe, 23, and her daughter, I think of three. I'll leave the link. And there was another passenger, and apparently the young woman got distracted and uh, veered over and hit a truck. And uh, unfortunately, uh, her, her daughter, and the passenger uh, passed away. Now, I did a story, oh, about six months ago, uh, about a street cam that had caught an accident in Africa and showed um, the spirit of the man who was killed, uh, him there. I found this one, I think, probably so much more compelling and is the reason why I'm doing this, because we all want to know that question. What happens to us? What happens to our loved ones at that moment when we put down these physical bodies? And I, every person thinks about this. You cannot help but have to eventually face your own mortality. You are going to die. You can't stop it, and it's going to happen. The question is, well, what happens afterwards? Well, this one here was very compelling. I'm going to zoom in, and you can clearly see that there is a light emanating from above. And there are clearly two distinct light forms here. That's the only thing I can say. I believe that this is the mother and the daughter. I really do. And you're going to see, I did an exam closer zoom up on this, and you're going to see they actually have much more form than what it looks like. So what I did is I just kind of ran this. Now, this is very interesting. This is in the infrared. And... Look at this. I mean, say what you will. And if you look real close, and it's hard, I'll do like, you can begin to see that it's more than just glows of light. I am in, and I will see this, but I believe that we can actually see the arms of the child reaching out to the mother. Again, these are going into different filters, bringing out different aspects of the light. But there again, clearly, what only can be assumed are energy. Here's another one. Look at this one. This is the one I was telling you about. And I'm going to you can begin to see right here as though there is this life form is reaching out and which I think is the mother likewise you know this is good news I mean no matter what your religious beliefs are no matter what your perspective is I think what this tells me it answers that question for me, it does. And as tragic as it is that these two precious souls and the other person, they did not get to live out the fullness of your, their years, but you can clearly see right here. And so I just wanted to do a very quick video on this. And as you can begin to see, um, look at this one. You see what I'm saying?
Do you see? And I'll stop it right here. But it's not round. There, it actually is energy, is what I see. Consciousness, if I'd be so bold to say. And do you see the, the child over here? It almost looks as though the arms are stretched out. So, um, yeah. Again, in the infrared, inverted. Look at this, folks. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Well, again, with such tragedy, um, to see that there is that ray of hope for all of us. And I don't know why this camera caught this. You know, I think sometimes signs are given where we don't have to be in fear. I believe our culture is ignorant in the fact we do not teach that death should be celebrated. Not a death that's on tragedy, but the fact that death is the inevitability of this life experience. And so often it's taught with innuendos of superstitions, uh, fears, and I think that this tells me is that I've heard that it's, it's a joyous experience and certainly gives me encouragement to know that you know we do not have to be afraid so anyway folks um just thought i'd share this with you and certainly leave your comments i'd love to hear what you have to say all right be kind to one another